three groups of people emerged when asked about their thoughts on cosmetic surgery. Those who are against it for moral, religious, or other beliefs. Secondly, the group who welcomes every new technology and method to change, alter, or enhance themselves. The third group comprises of people who understand that cosmetology is not just skin deep. Holistically speaking, once our bodies, minds, and spirits are in alignment, we are happier with ourselves in all aspects. If we were to take away one of those elements, we are off balance. So how does cosmetic surgery and the cosmetic industry allow for sustainable health in all these aspects? As medical professionals, the expertise lies in the procedure, the molecular structures, and the science. Once the treatment is complete, some patients will still be dissatisfied even if the procedure was a hundred percent medically successful. This discourse can cause strain on the medical professionals and potentially throw a shadow on the establishment's reputation. When I had to obtain some professional photos for my business, the photographer showed me some of the photos right after they were taken. I loved them, and the session was a great success. Years later, I bumped into her, and she mentioned that a lasting impression was made, and she uses me as an example of how, no matter how good the lighting, clothing, or lens is, the person must feel valued and empowered when they look at themselves. That is what makes a successful photograph. By exploring the self-image as it relates to the mind and the self-perception of the patient before treatment will greatly enhance the outcome. If there is a problem and the patient is not emotionally stable or financially secure, they may suffer from more than just recovery after surgery. Financial stress can cause ongoing anxiety, and if the surgery doesn't go exactly as the patient envisioned, depression and a lack of confidence can impact the perception of the surgery as a success, even if there were medical reasons supporting that view. For example, after a facelift procedure, the patient is left with swelling, pain and sleeplessness which can heighten this awareness of self and could include buyer's remorse. How can we practically implement journaling methods that would alleviate some of the mental health risks to the patients without placing extra burdens on the staff? Journaling through first, client engagement before, during, and after treatment. Secondly, understanding trauma. Thirdly, expectation management. Number one, client engagement before, during, and after treatment. Let's take a look at motivation. Having a clear understanding of the motivating factors of why the patient requires surgery, and not just from a physical standpoint, can give us insight into the motivation. Engaging the client through journaling, meditations, and other holistic practices, the reason for surgery will become clear this would also give the medical professional insights into possible underlying conditions like BDD, body dysmorphic disorder, that exaggerates a flaw to the point of delusion. 
once the motivational factor has been accounted for, the medical professional can move on to the second stage. Number two, understanding trauma. Ongoing studies suggest that a third of patients are at risk for post-traumatic stress disorder after surgery. Trauma in patients in plastic surgery should be routinely screened and considered for further psychological intervention. Mental health issues can negatively affect a person's recovery from surgery and increase the experience of post-operative pain. Number three, expectation management. Understanding what to expect is one of the first methods to reduce anxiety before and after surgery. The use of specific journaling prompts greatly aid in the understanding of medical process and procedures, but it also includes the emotional and social impacts of cosmetic surgery. Examples of journaling prompts include a clear expectation of timelines for surgery, follow-up appointments, and recovery time. A log and thorough understanding of medications and its side effects. A journal log of symptoms and changes, including changes in mental health. Noting fluctuations in pain and mood. Managing these expectations regarding relationships before and after surgery through journaling is vitally important in reducing post-surgery fallback. Perhaps the most insidious threat to a cosmetic change is the response by others. Once the motivation for surgery is established, expectations of surgery managed, the final step is the relationships after surgery. Physical changes can result in gossip at work or within friend circles. Children who watch a parent or relative take the drastic measure of surgery can develop a skewed vision of their own bodies that they may never escape. Relationships that are already strained could suffer more from the after effects of cosmetic surgery. Research has shown that men are especially apt to misunderstand a woman's motives for body altering surgery. The belief that women are dissatisfied in their current relationship or interested in attracting other men could be some of the underlying miscommunications in the interpersonal relationship. When the relationship fails after surgery, even if the surgery was successful by medical standards, in the eyes of the patient, the surgery itself could be perceived as unsuccessful. Unless there are tools and resources in place to bring awareness to relationships, to the self and to others, after surgery. Our next focus is on the mental health of the staff and how this relates to the client experience. Throughout the process of cosmetic surgery, the staff play an integral role in how successful the procedure will be. Apart from the medical standards, when clients feel valued, concerns heard and addressed, the procedure will be favorably perceived. Staff with the necessary resources and tools to combat stress, alleviate burnout syndrome, and who feel appreciated will fare better, not only for the procedures, but also for themselves and the patients. 
there is a very real emotional toll that comes from working in the industry of cosmetic surgery. How can we practically support the medical staff in these practices? Regardless of the vacation time or flexible work schedule offered by many, there is a need for concrete and sustainable self-care methods. Consider the following journaling prompts. Staff motivation. Once a quarter, journal down what motivates you to keep going to work. What was the original reason for becoming a professional in the cosmetic surgery field? How has your attitude changed in the last year? Number two, boundaries. Boundaries is setting clear expectations on a physical, social and emotional level. Journaling prompts could include how are the interactions with the clients impeding on your boundaries? Are the interactions with the clients respectful of your boundaries? For example, do you allow the client to take some control over their own journey? Or do you become the punching bag for clients when things do not go as planned? With an in-depth exploration of personal, intrapersonal and professional boundaries, stresses and burnout are greatly lessened. In conclusion, journaling through cosmetic surgery with targeted workshops for staff and patients or clients will improve relationships with themselves as well as with others. Clients will gain increased confidence and satisfaction in the procedures and with the medical staff filled with passion and energy for their careers, the practice will holistically benefit everyone. When cosmetic surgery is linked to an outwardly expression of how we feel inside, the results will be most successful. Keep journaling and keep growing.